Hey guys, welcome back. And today we are going to take a look at Outliner in Maya. So you can go here and click on this icon and it will open this panel here. You can click here and just drag it any way you want. So if you don't want your outliner to be here, you can just place it here or you can dock it. So if you click and hold here and then move it to this line, it will change the color and now you can release your mouse button and it will dock on this side so you can place it any way you want so what outliner does is that it has all the information about your scene so we are using these three objects and you can see them here so you can rename these objects if you double click on any mesh you can rename them like this and if you select any object here it will show you which object is it in your scene so it will help with organizing your project and finding your assets in your scene. So you can hide and unhide your object with outliner. So if you click on any objects, for example, if I click on this sphere and press H on my keyboard, it's going to hide this object from your scene. And if you want to bring back your object, you can press H again. So you can parent your object with Outliner. What you can do is you can select your object with middle button of your mouse. You can select and drop it on this other object and they will parent together like this. So if you click on this plus icon, then you can see that uh, this box is a child object for this ball. So if you select this ball and you move it around then this box will also move around with this and you can scale it and rotate it like this and if you want to unparent it you can select this box with the middle mouse button and just drag it out like this and now these three objects are separated you can also put them in a group what you can do is you can select all these objects and press ctrl g to add them in a group and you can rename this group by double clicking on the text and uh, i'm going to rename them as object underscore group and now you can control all these objects together so you can just select this group and then use all these controls like this and you can also search your objects so suppose if your objects are in a group or you have like a hundred or so objects in your scene you can search them by going to the search bar and uh, for example if i want to locate my ball object i'm going to search ball and it's going to show you that it's in this group so I expand this with this plus icon and I can get to it from here. So that's pretty much it. These are the basics of Outliner. And these things will help us in our future videos and our projects. So I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.